World Wide Web Consortium, or W3C, is an international community that develops open standards to ensure the long-term growth of the World Wide Web. Among the many things that they do is to develop accessibility standards. They do this through the Web Accessibility Initiative, also known as WHY. WHY develops guidelines that are widely regarded as the international standard for web accessibility. And here in Ontario, they underpin the Accessibility for Ontarians with Disabilities Act, or AODA. The Y website offers support materials to help understand and implement web accessibility, and tools and resources that were developed through international collaboration with the disabled community and allies. Their work began from the premise that all websites must be perceivable, operable, understandable and robust. Armed with those four principles, the Web Accessibility Initiative has spent over 10 years developing guidelines by which to deliver such websites to everyone. WCAG 2 categorized guidelines in three levels that represent the importance of each guideline. These levels are described as Level A, things that must be done or some group will not be able to access the content. Level AA, should be done, or some group will have difficulty accessing the content. Level AAA can be done to improve usability or enhance accessibility even further. It is version 2.0 of the Web Consortium's Accessibility Guidelines, or WCAG 2.0, that both declare the standards we must meet here in Ontario and tell us precisely how to succeed in achieving them. This page can be used as a checklist for all the WCAG 2 guidelines. It provides all of the requirements, called success criteria, lists of techniques to use to meet the requirements, which are linked to pages with descriptions, code examples, browser and assistive technology support notes, and tests. Lists of failures to avoid, which are linked to pages with descriptions, examples, and more tests. Understanding links to pages that explain the intent of the guideline or success criterion, how it helps people with different disabilities, key terms, and provides even more resources.